Hey, let's not waste any time and just dive right into how to put text behind objects in Premiere Pro. We're going to utilize masks to strategically hide parts of your footage so that we can make cool stuff like this. To start, just get your footage on your timeline along with your text. This is what I've got going on for mine. Now hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and drag your footage up to make a copy of it on top of your footage. Now go over to your Effects, Control Panel, and underneath Opacity, click on the Pen tool. Now just click somewhere on the outside of the thing you want to mask out and start outlining it. I went ahead and used the footage of a phone just because the straight lines make it really easy to line everything up and show you what's going on. You'll also notice I'm not bothering with the corners of the phone because I know that the text is never going to go that high or low. When you're just starting off, your instinct may be to completely outline the subject, especially if you're masking something complex like a person, but keep it simple. Future you will thank you for it, I promise. Once you've completed the outline, the mask will activate, and just like that, the text will look like it's going behind the subject. Also, feel free to adjust the feather to help it properly wrap around the subject. I'm just going to set mine to 5 to make it look a little bit more crisp. This looks great for the frame, but if we press play, yeah, that's, that's no good. Let's animate this thing. Now, if you're working with something simple like what I've got, Premiere Pro's got a handy way of animating the mask automatically. Take a look at these buttons right here. They look like standard play and rewind buttons, but they actually set keyframes at every frame of the footage and move the mask along with the subject. Now if I just hit this one, it'll comb through the footage and just like that, it's animated. Unfortunately, this doesn't work as well if you've got complex footage, so I'll go ahead and undo it and show you how to animate it manually. Go to the beginning of your footage and click the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Now depending on the length and complexity, this could take a while. All you need to do is go frame by frame and move and adjust the shape of your mask to accurately hide the text. I'm speeding up my footage, but it really didn't take me too long. And that's all there is to it. This is one of those effects that seems really challenging at first, but once you try it out, it takes no time at all. Now get out there and have some fun. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.